An update now on a story we've been following very closely. A Philadelphia judge heard arguments today from a family who says their daughter's death ruled a suicide was actually a homicide. Here's Matt Petrillo. This was not a suicide. This was a vicious homicide. Ellen Greenberg's parents say she had her life cut short at just 27 years old after she was found dead in her Maniunk apartment with more than 20 stab wounds to her body. It happened in 2011. Her death was ruled a suicide. But over the past decade, the Greenberg family and their attorney uncovered what they describe as a mountain of evidence that shows Ellen could not have been alive to stab herself 20 times. My question to you, sir, is... The evidence includes this never-before-publicly-seen deposition of then-assistant Philadelphia medical examiner Marlon Osborne. The Greenbergs say he's the man who ruled Ellen's death a suicide. Watch as the Greenbergs family attorney question Osborne. If it could be proven that one or more of the wounds that Ellen sustained could not have been inflicted by her, objection. would you agree with me that the manner of death a suicide would be improper or incorrect. Osborne waits several seconds before he answers. I, I would have to agree. The Philadelphia solicitor in the case, Ellen Berkowitz, argued Friday suicide should remain the manner of death. The judge says a decision will come soon. In Philadelphia, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.